What's up guys, uh, in this video we are going to discuss this problem show that uh, this integral in between these two values, right? So notice that this in this function here is defined continuously on this close interval. Then you can find max min, right? Max min, right? And look at the, this is the numerator. This is the denominator. We call this is numerator and denominator, right? Uh, right so we have to show this integral in between uh, in between these two value 1 or 7 when you integrate the numerator you get something like x to the power 7 divided by 7 uh -huh, you have 7 here 7 there right uh, so having that in mind so if you grab the max and mean value for the denominator you can can prove this property very easily all right this is the function uh-huh so here if you integrate x to the 6 you get x to the power 7 over 7 uh, we get 7 here 7 there so then let's grab max and mean for the denominator, right? So we know that x uh, varies in between these two values. So the maximum of this and minimum. So you can grab max and mean for this function. The maximum value is square root 2. Maximum, the maximum value occurs at 1 when you plug this number into here you get the maximum value, right because it is increasing so the minimum value so we know the square root function is uh, increasing function that's why there is no critical uh, value in between 0 and 1 right that's why we so the max and mean, mean values occur at endpoints, right? So, so the maximum, if you want to find the maximum value of this, just plug this one into here and the minimum value plug by subbing this value into here, you get the minimum value. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we are consider the the 1 over this thing when you consider the 1 over this thing you have to so 1 over this thing is in between in between 1 over square root 2 and 1 here so you have to swap these uh, symbols you have to swap interchange you have to swap these symbol if you take the one over the right all right all right one over square root of one plus x squared in between one and one over square root two now here you have x to the six we know that this one is non-negative over this interval so over this interval this one is non-negative so you can multiply x to the power 6 uh, to this inequality so let's multiply because it is non-negative so this symbol doesn't change right so when you multiply x to the power 6 throughout the inequality you get this thing I think these are very simple questions. You had to, you had to do these question definitely, right? Otherwise, it is a shame. You have to try these question very quickly. Don't spend much time to do doing these kind of question, right? You have to do it right away, right? All right. Now, so, so what? you have to show you have to show aha uh -huh, one over seven uh -huh. 
now so uh huh all right all right so this is true for x in between x in this uh, interval close interval otherwise you have to mention this one very important this one is very important you have to mention that uh -huh, this function is greater than or equal to this function and this function is greater than or equal to that over this interval then you can integrate uh, these intervals the integration also uh, also satisfies uh, this inequality uh -huh. when you integrate this function over uh -huh. this doesn't change the sign this greater than sign doesn't change uh -huh. this bit uh, lazy to write everything uh yeah that's good less than or equal to this bit integral of one x to the six over square root two uh, this gives you one uh, one seventh one seventh uh, this gives you one over seven times square root two pretty simple question right so the, this so this we showed that this integral in between one seventh and one over 7 times square root 2. Hope you understood this problem very easily. Very clearly, right? You can do this problem very easily. So don't spend much time. So you have to do right away, right? So pretty simple. So the reason is, uh huh. So this function is continuous on this interval. The denominator also continuous, and this denominator is increasing as as you increase x the denominator increase so the maximum minimum value occur at n points so if you want to find the max of this one just plot the this smallest value smallest value of x into the function then you get the uh, minimum value of this uh -huh. if you want to find the maximum then so, uh, just plug the maximum value of x into here there you get the maximum then you so here you have one over this thing then you swap the uh, then you one no you consider one over this thing if you consider one over this thing you have to swap these inequality symbols right then so here over this interval this one is non negative right non negative over this interval then you can multiply multiply x to the 6 uh, throughout the whole inequality then then you integrate then this satisfy if you if you found uh, three functions and satisfy this condition then the integral also uh, also satisfy this one here all right so i hope you understood this problem all right see you in next video